Okay, so we got old dirty bastard back at the shop. He says we got some noises. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a little bit more video, do some drive time. I think we may be having to do a little bit of a clutch upgrade because we got a little bit more power in this car. And we're gonna test it, fit some wheels today. So we're gonna go for a little test drive. We're gonna strap the GoPro on the top, see what's up.
Got back from a little test drive. Got a little bit of noise coming out of the left front. Uh, gonna see what's going on there. Uh, the noise he thought was something bad really isn't anything too bad. Uh, it's just making a little bit of clutch idle noise, so I'm not too worried about it. But let's take a quick look under the hood, see how things look. Got the nice fuel system we added, cold air intake, got that injector dynamics top mount kit, and the gram speed. So everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and get it on the rack, check out what's going on underneath, test fit some wheels, see what we got going on. As you can see, we got a nice full three inch all the way up with one baby little cat. And I got a feeling we may have a ball joint, sway bar link, something, something loose up here. Oh, there we go. Got a sway bar link clanking right there. And check the ball joints and the bushings. Looks like we're pretty low on that bushing. And I thought maybe we had a tranny leak. Looks okay. We need to check the diff fluid in it. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Definitely found what's making the noise. Haven't actually seen this on a Subaru yet. But if you look real close, that knuckle actually split right next to that ball joint. So the ball joint itself, you can see drop down a little bit and that knuckle actually split. Not sure how that happened. That's the first time I've seen that on a Subaru, especially a station wagon. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and replace that spindle and we're gonna put some upgraded links with a upgraded sway bar in it and uh, get a little bit better control of this, put it back on the alignment rack, get her straight. So. Once we start doing the install and taking some stuff apart, we'll be back. Tested apart here. Uh, this is what happened to the spindle. Like I said, I've never seen this before in a Subaru, but for some reason, the piece that holds the ball joint in decided to separate itself. So it definitely was this way for a little bit, not sure how long, but we went ahead and uh, put in a new spindle. Actually got one off of 2014, so she's nice and fresh. Got a nice new bolt, not cracked. Uh, we also went ahead and did the white line upgrade. So we got the white line sway bar and links. And we did the rear too. So we got the white line sway bar, booyah, and links. And we already got the white line adjustable control arms. Uh, I gotta do a little bit of alignment work with this thing, but it should ride much stiffer. We're gonna have this thing out at the autocross track here pretty soon. We're hoping, hoping, hoping. Oh yeah, we also gave her some adjustment. We got those white line adjustable caster that are actually for an Impreza, but I went ahead and installed them on an Outback wagon because we all know Subaru stuff's interchangeable. I knew they would fit and they did beautifully. Uh, we also gave them a brake upgrade while we were at it. Got the uh, power stop cross drilled and slotted. Looking so good with the Pro Series uh, brake pads. And she should be quite the different car. Uh, so if y'all remember, we just went and did a bunch of dyno tuning on this. Made 350 horse, 348 torque. So now we got some stopping power. We got some turning power. And we're doing a little bit of a fluid change in the transmission with some secret sauce I'm not gonna tell y'all. Uh, but. We'll get on the alignment rack, do a little test drive, and no more cracked knuckles. With the new suspension mods, 
We're gonna we're gonna film the exit because I know. Look, he's smiling ear to ear. He can't wait to drive this car. So I went on a test drive. Car drives phenomenal. So we'll get an update from P later. So thanks for joining the mods on ODB. I'm sure there's plenty more to come. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Join us next time. And if you're watching this, don't forget to subscribe to HTS Motorsports. We'll see you next time.